Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace. Brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. And I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Madela. In last week's episode, Justin Scally defeated the number three seed, Louis Maha. This week, Justin faces a newcomer, Ryan McHugh, the number two seed. It's going to be another great match. Up now, Ryan McHugh, the number two seed, qualifying score of 417. Bowling out of Timber Lanes with an average of a 96. This is Ryan's first appearance on the King of the Palace. Making his first appearance on the King of the Palace on Alley 3. First ball delivered to the wide right. Leaves the MK to the left. Ryan comes out of Timber Lanes in Abington. I've never heard of that place. Yeah, down the South Shore, David, down near Brockton. Borders Brockton. I've been there. Nice alley. Nice alleys. Oh, it opens up with a 10. Nothing wrong with opening with a 10, Dennis. Every pin. Yeah. Ryan comes in with a 96 average. So it just goes to show you that, you know, we designed this for everybody. You know, he's getting uh, he's getting seven pins a string. You know, going up against uh, Justin Scally, who uh, defeated the King of the Palace. And then moved on, beating Louis Maha last week. Ryan, a little wide right in the first ball. Took out the half wish to right. Now he's left the one, the two, the six, and the ten for a ten box. Hopefully he gets three out of four. Ooh, only got one out of four. A little disappointing on that one. All right. Up now, Justin Scally, the number four seed. With a qualifying score of 397. Bowling out of Academy Lane. Average 105. This is Justin's third appearance on the King of the Palace. Justin Scallion, Alley 3. Familiar wind up, delivery. Put it right in the pocket. Quarter shot. Put it right there. Left the four and the eight, two pinner for, yep. for a spare. Piece of wood in between the two. Don't think it's going to affect anything, Dennis. I think he just has to make contact with the four. Yeah, it should take out the back pin. Uh, I'd, I'd probably go a little bit to the right of that head, head pin. Uh, a little too far right. Too far yeah, right, just a bit. Very disappointing on that one. You know, Justin Bowles out of Academy Lanes. Also on uh, the Pro Tour. Friday night, Travel League. Wide left again. Okay. Justin going on to lane number four, box number two. Academy Lane's home of the uh, World Canopy Championships. Oh, yes, yeah. That's yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. When's it coming up, Dennis? Uh, November 11th, I believe, the first day of it, which is uh, you know, the Tuesday. Of, yeah. Ooh, that. November 11th. Ten pin was rocking. It's a great spectacle. I, I encourage everyone to come down and just watch well, and take it, it all in. To be there. It's David, the world's best. Yeah, David. Probably I, David and I will be going up there to watch. Maybe even participate. Can we participate? No, it's invitation only. Invitation. Okay. Yeah, separate cars too. What? Separate cars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love you, Steve. No truer words are spoken. Okay. Ooh, slid by that seven. Okay, he's opened up with 18, and Ryan with the handicap is at 24 after two Dennis. Six Correct. pin, six pin lead for Ryan. Okay. Box number three. Oh, wide left. Opened up, closed out his uh, well, second box with a. Opened up with a spread eagle. And spread eagle. Excuse right me, now, uh, left. half whistle. And now another half whistle. Very, very disappointing. Make a little bit of an adjustment. And yeah, you want to get a big out of this mess. Yeah, he's got to get at least nine out of this. He's just. Ryan's just running and gunning, man. He's not analyzing anything. He's Probably slow the jitters. Down a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna slow it down just a little bit. Take a breath. Yeah, that's a little bit. It's a nice ball. Found the head pin that time. He's left the uh, three, six, ten, and the seven. Got some wood there. Maybe if he just gets between. Oh yeah, 
Yes. Yeah, he, oh, he needed it. That piece, you know what? Nice. nice if that wood wasn't there, that wasn't going. Nice. That wood shot. helped him out a lot. That's the time that the wood helped. Yep. Okay, Justin up. Lane number three, box number three. Off to the right. Leaves the one, the two, the seven, and the ten with a couple pieces of wood up behind the two. Best bet for this one is to hit it off to the left hand side and spray it all around. Just missed the ten. Justin wants this 10 box. And just a little left. Getting set up on alley four. to the right again, but this time he leaves a more favorable spare leave. The one, the two, and the seven. Best bet is to try to run the ladder. One, two, into the seven. Let's see if we can't pick this up for a spare. Just yeah, a little off, leaving up the finger of God. Yeah, he needed it. He had to make contact with that head pin one into the three, or the, excuse me, the two pin. He's just left the finger of God for the 10 pin, 10 box, see what happens. Ooh. Left. Skin of the teeth. Justin's on a nine kick. <laughs> After four hits, Ryan at 39, working on a spare, and Justin at 36. Well, chance here for Ryan to get some space. Put up a big lead. Oh, he's, he's dropped, maybe. Oh, he dropped day. Dropped day? Yeah, he's throwing that ball kind of hard. Oh, he's got a, I don't know, front part of this. Hit, hit Left hand, right, side. right hand side. Oh, he nice did. Shot. He made it. He made it. Two in huh? a row. Looks like the Jitters are starting to wear yeah, off on him a little bit. He's finding it. Dennis, I think you were right. Takes a little time, you gotta concentrate, come back. A couple boxes to get used to it and it works itself out. Oh, no, he's dropped eight. Okay, nothing wrong with an eight. Two no, ago. this is, uh, these the one and the eight. He's head pin contact. He wow, back to back is. spares. Three in a row, candle pin bowling known as the turkey. Gobble, gobble, baby. Three spares in a row, or any combination of spares and strike Dennis and Candle and Bones, referred to as a turkey. He got it, he earned it, he wanted him, he made the shots. Really putting the pressure Something on Something tells me somebody's gonna get deleted. <laughs> For what? <laughs> it's a fact. Yeah, I know, he wanted it, he needed it, it's gonna get deleted. Oh. Nice hammer. Oh, he followed Justin wrecked the pressure. rack on that one, he answered oh, back. he answered it back. There Told Ryan, is. not so fast, kid. Now we got some action. Yeah, Justin, just, Justin, I got you, rookie. <laughs> I know what you're all about. Putting the pressure now. Oh, if he ever gets a double hill, I really put the pressure on Ryan. Let's see what happens. Good ball. There it is. A double. Look at the There's excitement on Justin's face. That Found was spectacular. One. one three part. Look at that. It fell down. I'm gonna tell you what. He may, just, Ryan may have a turkey. But a double strike kind of cancels that out any day of the week in my books. Oh, sure. That was a be two beautiful ball. Oh, he needed it. He felt the pressure. He got it. Okay, now. He. Oh, oh, he got a break. He Ryan got the break. He got seven, seven on the spare. Oh, this yeah. is shaping up to be a pretty good match right now. Oh. There's a lot of action going on. They're falling down. It's oh. one of those things where, you know what? You can do it. I can do it better. Now it's coming right down to it. You know, Ryan obviously doesn't take too much time. He just gets up like he's a running game. gunner. He's a running gunner. He just gets up and throws it. Okay. He's going in the box number eight here in alley number four. Ryan on 92. Three out of four last boxes have been marked. Let's see what happens. He wants it. He found the head right down the middle of the there plate. There it is. Look at that. He's left everything. the five pin. He's just left the king pin. He's got to go right at it, Dennis. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't even. Don't mess around. Just nail it. Get all over it. Oh, so, sometimes you see that sitting there and you want to run it down and the nerves just yeah. pop up just a little yeah, bit. Yeah. A lot of times you talk yourself out of it too. 
you think in your head, you don't want to miss it, you don't want to miss it, and you wind up missing it because you just yep, talk yourself in the <laughs> Delete. Okay, here That's not going to get deleted. Come on now. <laughs> okay. Will we see a triple? I think we've only seen two on the King of the Pels. I uh, Jimmy see it. Nestor and Billy Palumbo. Could be. There it is. There it is. Come on. Fall down. Oh, my God. Goodness. Shaking hey, his head at him saying, uh-uh. That's nothing wrong with that, man. That's Absolutely impressive. Not. Thought we had the turkey. Thought we had the turkey. That was a nice ball. Oh, this is a big spin. He got robbed on that one. Oh, how did that ball fit between that dead wood how and did, that pin? How did David? Am I David? Dennis, am I seeing what I thought he just saw? Yep, right through the hoop. How did it happen? Those grooves in the alley. <laughs> oh, come on now. Come on now. Oh my god, I gotta bust my little on you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> my Look at that. That double strike just canceled those three spins. Oh. Ryan what, Ryan had a good commanding lead on, on Justin, and those double strikes, like you said, Dennis, canceled everything out. Let's see what happens here. Okay. He's gotta find that groove again. Wide right, he's left an ugly, ugly six pin spin One, lead. One, two, four, five, eight, nine. Yuck. Just gonna attack the head pin. Pretty sharp when it goes, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, everything Look at that. but the king. He had a little English on that one piece of dead pin, dead wood. It was coming up in that five, and it stopped dead and pulled it away. Every mass a. Little mass a. There you go. Nice okay. ten bucks. Minnesota fats talking right there. Okay, after eight, we got Ryan at 101, Justin at 104. Three pin lead for Justin. Yeah, okay. it's Last coming right down to it now, man. Last two boxes. It got tight, real tight. The bowlers started mocking. The scores went up. The jitters came out. You feed off the energy. Line a little wide right. Kaleri to the left. Yep. Got to, got to split the one and the three. Oh, he did split it. Look at this. The nine pin rocked and the seven never went. Well, he's got to get at least one out of two here. Okay, last box. Oh, does he want a mock here? 110 going to the tenth. Oh, nothing wrong with 110 plus a box. Excellent can open ball. Wide right. Oh, this falling. They're falling. Look at this. One, seven, nine, ten. Wood all over the place. Got a play. Gotta yep. hit that head pin though. There it goes. Oh, he shot. made it. Wow. Nice shot. Spraying and praying. He absolutely went to the altar. Did Said you know? amen when he was done. Oh, nice shot. He threw some holy water on himself too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he wants And he was rewarded. Wants the eight, nine, and ten here. Big Phil. This, this is going to determine what Justin's going to do right here. Ah, aces and eights oh. left on the deck. Now, once again, he threw a beautiful ball, found the 1-3 pocket, and got six pins out. Hey, he ended up with a 126. Well, That's still, pretty respectable. But I mean, well, he probably won a little more after that. Uh, there's 121, technically, but yes, for the well, seven pins. Sure. But I'm telling you what. 119. Excuse me, 119. Okay, final two for Justin up in lane number three, box number nine, the foundation box, and Camelton Bowling. Found the head pin left. A little, Look at this. A little bit light. This is very difficult too, Dennis. David, very difficult spin. Three, six, ten, and the nine. You just gotta drill the three, see what happens. I go to the left of the three a little bit. Yeah. Get a little angle working. Try to kick something off the sidewall. Just missed. Well, it's gonna force Justin to get a mark in the last box. Well, he's to, gonna have to hit the to get a spin. Hit to the get three the pin lead. dead on. Yep. See what happens. I knew it as soon as he dropped it. It's, it's tight now. Yep. Justin's going to need to mark, otherwise this yep. first match is going to go to Ryan. Yep. All the pressure's on Justin right now. Dennis, does the 10th box mark really give you gives the bowl of momentum? You've been in tournaments, you understand. Well, it does help to carry over into the next string. Oh, definitely. Look at this. Leaves a 247 with a lot of junk on the deck. Well, you're going to play the front wood? Right or the front wood left? I play the front wood in the the angled wood. The left. No, no the, the angle wood's blocked by the other wood behind it. 
Just like that. That's it. Answered with a spare of his own. Now it just comes down to the fill. Well, he needs three to tie and four to go ahead. One ball. See what happens. Yeah, this is one of the times you don't want to punch out. You don't want to hit one pin. All right. Oh. Steve will give him a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> don't get him started. <laughs> there you go. Way to finish it. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Nice ball. Nice delivery. Outstanding 131 game to... 126. And looks to me like Justin with a five-pin lead after one. Dennis and Good. David, good right. can of pin bowling. Yeah. The guys really turned it on after the third box. That's what you like to see, spares and strikes. Right. You know, it was kind of dull, dull in the beginning. You know, sparks in the middle, dull at the end, and then one final jolt just to put it away for Justin. Okay, Justin going to be leading off. String number two, box number one. Lane number three. Familiar back. Oh, oh opens up with a bomb. What a way to open up the mark. What a way to wreck a rack. Beautiful Explosion. shot. Pinch just obliterated. Right out of the right out of the ball. That's the that's how you want to start, right there. Right into the That is the biggest confidence builder that you could have right there. Exactly. What a nice ball. What a nice delivery. Well, let's see if he gets another double. Off to the right, just a little bit. Left the four horsemen on to the left. And for our viewers and viewers. One, two, line, four, seven. David, the four horsemen, better known as what? Uh, I don't know. Smith, Mo Wesson, no. Cole. And what's the fourth one? Ruger. Ruger. Let's see what happens. Oh, a little bit light. Okay. This That was Justin's least favorite shot, the four horsemen. Well, still nothing wrong with an eight. We've said it numerous times. Nothing wrong with an eight on a fill. Spare or a strike. Gets, we, we'd like to get the two here. Maybe get at least one. Oh, we got one. Okay. Two out. Got nine, nine, 27 after two. Nothing wrong with that, Dennis. No. That's, take oh, it every, that's a 135 string. You yep. do it every time. That, yep. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Pressure on Ryan now. Down five after the first string. Facing the Oh, found the head pin. Oh, four. Oh, one less pin. Got okay. a break on that one. Yep. 6 10. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Could be. A little late action. A bunch I think go down. Really? I know. A slow motion spin open up the second string. Oh, Ryan, you better wipe your feet on that one. Pause for dramatic effect. On How did that 10 pin <laughs> oh, fall that down? Was, that was. David, would you down, were you I, down there? Was Travis down that did kick that 10 pin down? I, I don't see no. Troll down. No, I think that's Phil Cleft down there getting even with Justin. <laughs> oh, man. Are you kidding me? He oh, got lucky goodness. on one and then he dropped oh. the bomb on another. What bowling? Open up Seriously? three out of four boxes. We got marks. Wow, Ryan, Way to capitalize. Ryan just kind of showed me up a little bit because I told him to wipe his feet on that last spare he got. And then he says, shut up, Dave. And he threw, threw a strike. He threw a strike. I'll oh, shut up now. Oh, my goodness. What bowling? What action? Got to take advantage oh, of those breaks. And he did. Oh, it's yeah, for the did. king of the palace. This is what it's all about. Oh, half Worcester. This is what it's all about. The pressure's on. It's who delivers the most to win the, the crown. That's all it is. Yep. Justin's been bowling for about 24 years now. Size singles on 195. That's pretty impressive. He's going after the... Oh, thank God. No prune juice for anybody. Left the... Four and the seven with a piece of wood. Blocks. I think they switched to plum juice now. <laughs> plum <laughs> juice. Insure for the... Insure? Sure? Metamucil. Metamucil. <laughs> uh, Steve knows about insure, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with a 10 blocks if you open Nothing like a Girl Scout cookie and a glass of Insure. <laughs> with a half horse star, right, Justin's going to find the gear. Yeah, he needs to answer real quick. That was a big opening box for Ryan. Oh. oh. Right again, just missing a little bit left there, Dennis. He's just yeah, he's a little off to the right. Yeah. He's going to make the adjustments, which I'm sure he will. David, David and, Judd and uh, Dennis, is it the feet, you think, or the position of the arm? It could be a little of both. Um, I've, I've coached a couple of people in bowling, and the first thing I stress that you have to learn is form. You have to find a form that you're comfortable with. Comfortable. And the, don't worry about the scores. The scores will come later. Once you find a form that you're comfortable bowling, then you can worry about trajectory. Yeah, it's, nobody bowls the same. They're, they're like fingerprints. Bowling forms are like fingerprints. There's no two alike. Yeah. You know, you can see Justin has that wide swing. Yo, know, and, and, and Ryan is a running gunner. You know, Justin is a little bit more methodical, likes to look at the shot before he takes the shot. 
Ryan just gets up there and barrels it down. He's got to got to figure about that. He got two balls. Gonna fall. So you gotta get the nine drop. Ooh, ugly, 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 ugly. How disappointing is that? Opening up with a spare, then you get a strike, and then you leave Uncle Elmer's teeth on the deck. Five to one a strike. And he throws that one away right through the gap of the teeth. You gotta shake that one off, kid. Yeah, you gotta bounce back. We got a short memory. Very short memory. See how we get. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty short memory right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he needs this spear. Well, He's got to pick it up. See, wait, wait for the wood to settle down and see what, how this shapes up. Yeah, oh, like, got lucky on that I'm one lucky. again. I, I agree. You better stop I, wiping your feet, kid. I would have went for the pin. Pressure back on Justin a little bit here. I think Ryan's going with duck boots on with all that mud he's got on. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Where did that one come from? It's better be lucky than good, I tell you. I don't play favorites here, I tell you what. Oh, look at this. No, no, no. no. Yep. The wow. one, eight, the eight, the nine. <laughs> the one, the eight, David, I'm repeating. The one, the eight, nine. It's not even a spread eagle. It's sick. It's, it's this, sick. This is, right. this is, this, this right. is, this is violation. I th this is just. This is oh. just, that was just a vi violation of his public oh, yeah. rights <laughs> or humanity rights or How whatever you want to call it. Now look at this. He's just left ugly. it in a conglomerate of five ugly Big pins. words. You must be you must be hell of a hell of a player of Yahtzee or something like that. Well yeah, I mean I told you I minded in English. Nice out out of that though. I minded in English. I love the English language. It's very fascinating. I always talk to them the six. Well if you minded in the English language you figure you speak it a little bit better. I do! All that mumbling that you do. Well that that's not mining that has nothing to do with it. That's pronunciation and enunciation. Oh, okay. Speech and therapy. Oh, he's wide right again. He's left an ugly, ugly. I don't know. Maybe Justin's starting to feel the pressure a little uh -oh. bit from Ryan. Might be getting a little tired. Yeah, it's okay. a lot of bowling that he's been doing. Well, he's got to attack oh. this head pin. Spray the wood around. Take a look. Happens. Take again. Look what you're doing. Just wide a little off. Yeah, he's off. He's laboring a little bit, guys. I think. That he's getting a little bit tired. Yeah. Hey, two young guns going at it, and right now Justin's firing blanks, and and Ryan's opening it up a little bit. Now that that five box, um, five on the spin, a five box really hurt Ryan, but Justin didn't capitalize. So Ryan can open up a can right here. He gets a big fill here. Well, nothing wrong. Six with fill. Oh, he got a six. He's left the one, the three, the six, and the. Justin's going to need nine. to do some work because uh, right now Ryan is pouring it on him. Left, left the finger of God up there. Box to box. Ryan has a 13-pin uh, lead over Justin. Yeah, Justin's gonna. Justin's got uh, four boxes to make some noise, and he's better hope that Ryan doesn't uh, turn around and drop a couple more bombs like he just did. Hey, okay. lane number. But you know, oh, box number six. We've seen it before. Justin had to turn the juice on when he needed it, and he did. Look at this. Off the sidewall. Oh, nice. Leaves the five and the eight. Oh, how about this front wood then? This is uh, this is not going to be a pretty shot. Yeah, not pretty at all. You never know what's going to happen with double wood. Yeah. There's nothing good would have happened out of that. No. Not even the not even the dirt on his boots. Bob Ruit. Got the ten. After six, we got. Ryan has a 17-pin lead of the match. Yeah, four, Justin four better step up to the plate. Four boxes to go. Well, this is what it's all about, David Dennis. This is the king of the palace. This is where you got to deliver. This is where you got to show that you're a candle pin bowler. Yeah, it's going to show you that how, where your pressure level is. He drills the head pin, and he's there goes the ten. He deserved that. Got to take advantage of this one. Yeah, four pin left standing. That wood that a little wood bit is, too far out, don't nope. you think? Nah, yeah. he's good. No, Run right line. down. Red line it, yeah. No doubt about it. Nice ball, nice to I think he took a little bit off at that time. Just yeah, you have to, because every, you, know, you see that piece of wood that usually helicopter up over it or around it or, you know, 
Dennis, the throw force the, field. Throw the ball a little bit slower. That's give you a little more accuracy. You believe? Accuracy? Well, it depends on the ball. Like on if him. He, if he, he, with him, he throws a not a, a really hard ball, so him slowing it down a little wouldn't hurt him as much as opposed to say. Uh, but Ryan, who throws a you know, little faster ball, because if you take too much off of it, your trajectory and your, your aim is just gone. It's out the window. Yeah, but sometimes slowing the ball down, you turn around and, and you, with a piece of dead wood that way in front, sometimes it, it doesn't make that pin react yeah. and jump as high as it would if right. you were throwing that hammer down. Mm -hmm. No, you, you do have to take a little off of it. It's just you have to know how much that you can take off it without losing your aim. Okay, you filled the spear with a five. Came back with a nine box, so he's got 84 after eight. Once it, the door's a little bit open for Ryan, got to match one of the marks. Let's see what happens. The final four boxes, continuation ladder. Ah, oh, you didn't want that. You didn't want that. Forget about it. You just got to come right back then. Just right. exactly. forget about it. Forget about it. Got to throw a spammer. A spammer? Spammer. Wow. Ooh. Don't let this pressure get to you, kid. Yeah, you overcorrected too much on that one. Yeah. I think the nerves are getting to him. I think he knows where he's at looking at the score sheet. It's going to come out of this one need it. Ooh. Lumberjacking, kid. Chop, chop, chop. Justin gained 11 pins that box. Ryan's got a six pin lead box to box. Wow. Quick swing just like that. Pressure. It's all uh, pressure bowling right now. One, two, five, eight, nine. <laughs> this is difficult. This is very, very difficult. You know, it is some people get a decent lead and they get too antsy and yeah. they then they just start. He could have closed that door on Justin pretty good. Yeah. Time box. Okay, yeah. Nothing wrong well, with that. he left that door open for Justin. Now let's see if Justin can capitalize on it. Last two boxes. Well. Justin Scaly up on lane number three, box number nine, down by six. This is where it's all about, guys. Dude, he'll shake his head if he doesn't. It's the king of the powers, David. Dennis, well, right now it's it. right now it's the coming. Right now, right. right now it's coming down to Bolo go home. Exactly. Who, one, want, who two, wants to be the king more? One, two, six, down nine. This is going to be difficult. This is a difficult spot. You know. Got to get the front three and. Hopefully get the back. Nice pickup. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. He's gotta fill it now. This is probably the biggest ball of the match so far. This is this is the biggest this is his biggest ball of the match. Yeah, he'd like to get a decent throw at another mark. This is one of the things where you gotta put the pressure on Ryan. You wanna move on, you better do it now. Oh no. man, no. did no. he get I think Phil Clough came back and said, ha, ha. What is going on here? Yeah, this is, oh. What is going on? He's got to work on this one right here, man. Yeah, he definitely needs to pick this up. Shake that one off and go at it. Oh, look, look at, at this disaster look at area. This, the four, five, six, seven, ten. Ugly. How does that happen? Any, any uniqueness to this one? How do you take out the three pins? Kind of looks like a bat. How does it happen? Especially when, when he really needs uh, to Nice bit on that, though. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Justin with a 102. There isn't much that Ryan needs. 12 pins, right? 13 pins. 13 pins and two boxes. That can be done. Well, he just got eight back. Yeah. All depends on how he decides to play. I still can't get it's, over it's, him. It's, I still it's, can't. it's for Ryan, Ryan's to win. I still can't get over oh, him this taking is, up the three. This is going to be tight right now, I'll tell you what. Okay, we call it, Dennis. What do we got? What's he need? He just needs uh, four pins. Four pins to win. This is what it's down to. When I go home, kids. Needs four. Oh, 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 oh man, no. how did he finish that one with a spread eagle but at the But there's the four pins, though. There's the yeah. four pins. He has to throw one legal ball. Oh, oh man. No. Oh. <laughs> Might be another one pin match. Oh, you better make sure the math is correct on this one, because he went through the hoop twice. Three balls right down the pipe. Ryan won 234 to 233.
Wow, another one pin match. Ryan oh, yeah. knocks off Justin. See, it's all about pinning. One pin cost you This is the second, second week in a row we've had one pin. It's winner go home. Ryan had one strike, six spears, to uh, Justin's three strikes, three strikes, excuse me, and three spears to win by a pin. Ryan will move on to face the number one seed. Next week is going to be a great match. Looking forward to that one.